Hello, and welcome to Master Shit Theater with your host, the Hateful Geeks. <laughs> this week, sorry, I need to be I need to be drinking for this. We're going to be reviewing a Netflix original called Bright, starring your hero, my hero, and everybody's hero, Will Smith. Hey, Amen. Fucking well, yeah. Uh, I love him. Day. I, I, right, <laughs> Men in Black. <laughs> Welcome to Earth. I, I Fresh personally Prince prefer Jaden Smith. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jesus. What was that movie they did together? That was sci fi. That oh. was with M. Night Shyamalan. Oh, what was that? Um, oh, um, After Earth? After, After Earth. Earth. That yeah. was bad. Where it was Earth. Uh, so, Bright isn't that far off. <clears throat> so, anyway, <laughs> let's kick it. <laughs> God Sorry, that's my attempt at 80s rap. <laughs> Parents just don't understand. <laughs> and neither will you. Well, it's Philadelphia, so, born and raised. Okay. <laughs> summer, summer, summertime. We're just going to sing all Will Smith songs now? Yeah. All right. Parents just so don't Netflix understand. Has, uh, obviously, with all the things going on with Netflix and how much money they're making, they're deciding to pump out original content. Uh, a lot of their stuff's really good. Obviously, their, t- their TV is fantastic. Stranger Things, uh, The Punisher, I guess Daredevil's good. <laughs> Ozark. <laughs> Ozarks. Ozark was awesome. Yeah, Netflix, yeah. Netflix yeah, has a really excellent uh, you know, track record with original content. Bright is a special creature unto itself. So, quick breakdown. Bright is basically, uh, Will Smith is a disgruntled cop who has uh, suffered in the line of duty. He got a shotgun uh, to the chest. And his partner is the first orc <laughs> police officer. <laughs> yes, that's right. Bright takes place in a universe where fairies and elves and orcs and magic and all that shit coexist with the real world. <laughs> <sighs> so it's like so it's like Final Fantasy, but, but shit? Think of... Um, um, Man. Training day, yeah, with an orc as his partner, but there's no drugs involved, right? So Ethan Hawke is the is the is the orc, like the, the police yeah. force is corrupt, <laughs> yeah, okay, and what police force isn't right? Right, God, I got it. Will like all right? I did not get a chance to see this movie, but now I'm picturing Will Smith saying the King Kong ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, King Kong ain't got nothing on me. So this movie. Ha- hits on some good points, and this movie also f- drops the ball in others. So we're in a world where it's our world, but they're like your next door neighbor is a bunch of gang banging orcs right. with a fucking right. with a f- and the the and the fairies are fucking with your bird feeder. Yeah, the fairies are kind of assholes. Like so they're bugs. There, they're okay. <laughs> they're pe- so are they're they considered like, pests? Okay, fa- okay. That's like fairy funny. removal fairies services. Are, yeah, <laughs> yeah they're funny, birds. Actually. Basically, they're like pissed off squirrels. Yeah. They bite you and shit. Is there like? And, it, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, is there like, is there magic in this world? We'll yeah, get there. There's fucking, yeah. we'll get there, buddy. <laughs> okay. So, so the premise is okay. like, we, we get literally dropped right in the middle of this plot. But yeah. Will Smith is, we, we get to, we get a premise of him like dreaming about when he got a shotgun blast of the chest by some pissed off orc yeah. while his goofy, ridiculous orc, a partner played by Joel Edgerton uh, is getting a burrito. Yeah. <laughs> He's getting food. He's getting food for him. As orcs do. And, <laughs> and apparently there's something called being blooded or clan right. blood clan law and orcs, orcs and, before everything so, else. Yeah. Okay. Everyone thinks it's that the orcs wars, partner basically let him get away with it. Like right. he so, let the orc get away because the orcs first. Orcs first. I'm gonna make a terrible oh, joke here. I'm gonna make a real terrible joke here when I say orcs before hose. <laughs> <laughs> I, so, need to, I need to continue drinking. Orcs yeah, so before I, pork. Good. So the whole my, the whole <laughs> reason we we decided to do this review is not because like oh this movie was amazing. It was like one of those movies that we've gotten a lot of feedback on like our Instagram and stuff like that. That people right. are like oh I liked it. Oh I hated it. Oh it's kind of like one in between. Like and we we're like you know let's just talk about it. Let's get this shit out there. And this like, is one of those movies where. A lot of people either really love a movie right. or they really hate a movie. Like Last Jedi is there is no middle ground. Right, there's it. no yeah. yeah this is a movie where there everyone appears to be in the middle ground. It's like it's good. Yeah. I've seen worse. Yeah. It's but not I've good. definitely seen not better. Awesome yeah, it wasn't right. it wasn't like, oh I loved it. I wasn't like, oh man, that fucking sucked. It was like ah, all right. I'm, I mean, apparently <laughs> apparently Netflix thinks it's popular enough to get a sequel and maybe a TV show. Right. I mean, they always go by the number of people who are actually watching this shit. And they don't right. have, nobody actually rates the shit. They just watch it and then they're like, oh, right. somebody watched yeah, it. Like, they must have watched Netflix it. Netflix has some has some kind of rating system that they will not release. 
It's all sure. about just numbers of views. Right. No, I, no, I, I understand that. But um, and, and, and in this movie, too, it, the one thing I do appreciate about this movie is they don't make it more than it is. They don't try to make it out to be this big, long, grand, grandiose scheme. They drop you in, <gasps> they explain it, and then they just let it go. Like, that's it. There's no, dog. nothing. So there is zero backstory. Yeah. So we, you, get, you get a little bit of backstory. Like, just a, a smidgen. Like, a little bit. You get bit. a backstory, buddy. You know there's like a nothing. dark lord. Yeah. And somebody's trying to bring this Dark Lord back into power. Right. And they don't want it to happen. Right. The good guys. Because it's Dark Lord. Like, you know, it's like, it's like thousands of years ago. And, they'll, and he's the reason, like, orcs exist. Like, they all spawned from his dark magic. He was, a, you know he was an elf. You guys are paying attention to the opening right. credits, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I saw it. The Dark Lord was an elf. So the elves are, like, the beautiful people. Right. They live in, They're like, witty, witty The LA. elves are the, the Beverly Hills. Right. Like, they just like to spend money and... They all drive okay. Maseratis. And I'm not going to lie to you. I'm they not segregate gonna lie to you. In themselves. There being a dark lord in this in this world in this story has thrown me completely off off course because oh, I was not expecting it's, that. <laughs> two thousand. It's two thousand right. years after the death of the dark lord, apparently, right. and the orcs sided with him, and now they're being like, you know, seg- they're being like ostracized and racially profiled for their adhere to their love of the dark right. lord. And, I, I already have a theory about this movie. But I'm gonna let I'm gonna let that go because it's, it's like no, no probably I want to hear your theory yeah, we'll, and we'll, we'll, you know. tell, yeah, we'll, we'll get yeah, there let's, let's do this is Will Hit Smith's it. character like some kind of like he's prophesized to like do All right. something you fucking <laughs> ruined the plot so you've already you guessed, guessed, you already major guessed points it. of the movie you spoil this <laughs> are you are so, you guys for real yes. so. So one in every hundred elves. There's a Frodo of their story. There's a there's an evil elf and she has a wand and the wand is considered like an ultimate weapon because it could grant wishes and it can destroy. Right. So it only makes Harry people, Potter wands look like pussy. And this, yeah. is, this is what I liked about this this movie actually is like you, we never think of magical wands as being dangerous. Like, we always like think of it as like oh it's just a magical wand. So and other is people, this magical wand like a sword looking thing? No, no, no. no it's it actually looks a like a wand. It just oh, okay, okay. But it's like really, a, literally they, right. they, they view this thing as like an atomic bomb. Like it's the worst fucking thing that could possibly happen. So the movie happen. gets its yeah, name. Yeah. The movie's called Bright. Right. And they explain that the only people that could even hold a wand are brights. Right. Or you explode. Or you do. And they show it. Somebody who's not a bright grabs it. They all disintegrate. So the so premise they said, is that one in every thousand elves is a bright. One in every ten million humans can be a bright. So right. who's the human bright? Christ, you kidding me? <laughs> Did I really predict this? Yes, yes, yes. Everyone Christ. predicts it. Everyone the saw second it the movie well, starts. Spoiler alert. That, it's well, and you kind of yeah. get, get hinted to it as well because they, they pull up on the orc and Will Smith, pull up on this hobo that's swinging a sword around. Like you think it's some nah, That dude crit. was cool. He was like a dirty yeah. ass hobo who was like a D&D fan. <laughs> yeah. And he was in the middle of the street swinging the sword around trying to kill people. <laughs> and they're, so, of course, they arrest him, right? Okay. And so they get, he gets into the cop car and he's, this human starts speaking orcish to the orc. And Will Smith's like, what the fuck is he saying? And he's pretty much explaining to him that this is prophesized. This is, he's special, blah, 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 blah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, I mean, like I have not, yeah, like, like I said, I have not watched this movie. Yeah. Right. Right. So there's parts you, of this movie when you're sitting there because you know Will Smith is a bright, uh-huh. you're pretty much just waiting for him to pick it up and realize it in the movie. And this is, yeah, and, okay. Right. It's, that's just how it, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> right. This movie is the exact same plot as Alien Nation. But I haven't seen Alien Nation. Yeah, so explain Alien Nation. So Alien Nation is a James Caan film from the 80s, and there was a TV spinoff with who the fuck cares actors. <laughs> yeah, right. It was on Sci-Fi Channel for a while. It was us, actually. Is, we were in it. <laughs> the premise of Alien Nation is that it's modern L.A., and an alien spaceship comes to Earth, and the inhabitants of it were a slave race. And the slave race were finally freed with the help of the humans by their masters, which just happened to be the same race as them. Um, and they basically get integrated into human society. And the whole premise is that these aliens, like on Earth, are you know fish, you know fish out of water, fish out of water. They're like they're and they're the new like scapegoat for all human. Kinds problems. God bless our species. <laughs> I hate us so much. A fucking meteorite needs to just smash into our planet. Anyway, so in Alien Nation, the premise is that the one an alien cop who's like a you know wearing like he's blue. He's like he's a blues and you know a street walking cop. Um, he's finally made into a detective, and it's the first whatever the hell their name. They're called the, the what are they? The vis, they're not visitors. I can't remember what they're called. 
But the, the but, premise yeah. is that he's like the first one who's been made a detective, and it's a big deal. It's a big PR stunt. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, look how progressive the Los Angeles Police Department yeah. is. I, yeah, we don't hit people on camera for twenty minutes with. Right. Yeah, because I remember what they light. look like because they kind of have like elongated like. Heads and the they're like spotted and they're like yeah. bald and even the women have like spotted heads and bald but <laughs> yeah. they're apparently pretty sexy still even though yeah. they don't have any hair and I, do, and I do like in this movie the bright I like the, how they make the orcs look mm -hmm. I mean and they they kind of attribute some power not powers but like they're stronger than humans and yeah. they're like more like they can take more damage and yeah I mean the the makeup looked good because yeah. I couldn't tell if that was Joel Edgerton no. underneath all that and actually they, they, they kind of have good. like a little like <laughs> what's that disease not alopecia um. Vitilago? Yeah, when your skin pigment goes away, and oh, so you yeah, have like yeah. patches, it kind of looks like right, that right. a little bit. Vitilago, Michael Jackson supposedly had that. Right, no, no, yeah. no he didn't. So yeah, <laughs> no, it actually so came out. That he alienation, did. same oh. thing, basically. <laughs> like, the, the, the main character cop played by James Caan is an irredeemable racist. And through his <laughs> adventures with his new partner, he learns to appreciate his alienness. Right. And <laughs> his and alienness. Alien nation, but also alienation. You get it? It's a play on word, Herb Derp. Oh, <laughs> fucking bright, exact same plot. Right. Except up, instead up, of up, aliens, up. it's orcs. Right. And then so you, you kind of get the whole premise of Will Smith, he obviously hates orcs because he got shot in the chest by one with a shotgun, right? Yeah. Thinks his partner betrayed him right. and let the guy get away. And so all of the other cops that are with him also hate this orc. Because they're like, oh, he just let he let them get away. They shot you. I want him out of here. Right. They let they're him, super yeah. open about it, too. Right. It's not like a he secret. Just, like, yeah, like, he got shot and he just doesn't give a shit. The orc. No, no. The orc, no, the orc Will cares. Smith is like kind of oh, like Will on the Smith fence is like, about it. Will Smith is like, I don't want him in my car. He let me oh, down okay, as a partner. Okay. I mean, yeah, I get that part. And everybody okay. else thinks like he lied about it and let the kid go. And they so think he either right. lied okay. or he's just so dumb that it happened. Right. Okay. It made because it sound like the orc orcs are also really... not portrayed as very intelligent. intelligent. Oh, okay. Because you guys made it seem that, that like the orc just didn't really care that Will Smith no, got he shot tried, because no, he's, so he's, he's super him. sad about it. Okay. Okay. He's upset about it because he knows like that. That's on him, you know? Right. And uh, you find out later this guy's one of he, the orcs wanted to be a cop since he was a kid, you know? And so it's really, it's, it hurts him because he, he's trying to do what he loves to do, basically. Um, but he also wasn't accepted by orc kind. He had to shave right. his tusks off because, right. like, he wasn't blood so or that's some like shit. Their thing. Like I, right. There's all this politics and backstory and, like, inner workings of these fantasy societies and races that yeah. isn't. Right. Delved into. Delved into it's like it completely right. barely touched on. There's no backstory. The Dark Lord shit. The whole premise is that a fucking magic wand shows up in LA and the feds, one of them is an elf. <laughs> Once it, they, right. I mean, so, yeah, I mean. The other one is the is Harry Knowles from the fucking. I don't even remember what that Mind website Hunters. was. Is, he's in the show uh, Mindhunter also. Yeah. He's a uh, sure. he's a pedo that loves uh, tennis shoes. Yeah. Is it? Or right. shoes, women's shoes. Women's shoes. Well. He jerks um, off into them. Oh, fantastic. That's a, that's a lovely. I'm going to watch that. <laughs> lovely. <God. laughs> yeah, so um, I got to get it right in the heel. So the way that we find out about this wand, right? Um, they get called off to a, um, a to game. A safe house. Crap, bus house or something. You know, they, so they show up. They're getting shot at, blah, blah, blah. They go inside and everyone that's in there is like, disintegrated like <laughs> they're like one person is actually like a fucking like frozen fire mannequin like right. on the ground dead scorched right and you like they're glowing they're still on fire and the weird. effects looked very good for right. a for a low cool budget movie. So, right and like so you, that, that, that's, that's when they realize oh shit magic is there's magic here so there's magic going on. so they call it in so they call it in and all the cops come and then you find out all these cops are corrupt they want the wand of course What's the name of that actor who was in Neighbors? He because he's in this movie. Yeah, he, he was like the the one uh, who played the creepy clown in Neighbors too. Oh, uh, Ike Barinholtz. Yeah, I, yeah. He's in this movie and he plays a corrupt ass motherfucker. Right. Really? He's yeah. like, That's and a he magic does a good one. job. At I actually it. like I like actually like Ike Barinholtz. He's pretty funny in this yeah, too right. for a racist prick. Yeah. <laughs> um, so like, how's the world? Like, is it like is it like it's ours? It's normal, right? It's or, our planet. It's uh, our let me let me phrase it. Yeah, but is it like how's like the, is it like futuristic? Like the ten? Nope. Is it like dystopian? Is it like the elf? The elf city, because the elves segregated no. themselves. It's still not it, no. it's, futuristic. It's modern. It's more modernish than rich. It's rich the, yeah. future, it's not, though. It is it's not perfectly future at all. normal, modern okay. downtown it's, LA. It's very clean. It's very that's clean. Was, it's very clean. Was, yeah, that, it's, like, it's like if you took LA and you had the gang side of LA, mm -hmm. and you know how that looks. Right. That still looks that way. Okay. And then you have like Beverly Hills with all like all the cleanness and okay, like that's, white yeah, that's so LA. Yeah, that's what I was asking. Yeah. If there was yeah. like it's exactly it's our it's our world. It's perfectly one hundred percent. Okay, I'm pretty sure there's literally like a like a fucking Berlin Wall in right. L.A. Yeah. I, I, this is normal <laughs> L.A. 
there's super clean hoity toity downtown LA where all the elves made elf town. Right. And you've got like fucking Compton in the ghetto right. where the fucking orcs live. Well, that's what I was asking was like, you know, you know, few, did they use like futuristic tech? No, it, you, that's, it's, what I was, that's what I was literally trying like to, today, right now. That's what, what I was have. trying to, yeah, yeah, that's what I was trying to get to. They still use guns. They still have like body armor. They still, okay. as cops, they still, cool. you know, the gangs, only, still shoot. the only magic is when, the wand is the wand. Right. The wand. Yep. So the whole premise is that they want this wand. They already have two, apparently. They're called Inferni, which is supposed to be some kind of elf cult to raise the Dark Lord. The from Illuminati. The grave. Pretty much. No, but, but they, they touch killed on that. the Illuminati. They touch on the Illuminati. They killed the Illuminati. <laughs> They're the new Illuminati. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So they go on an adventure. They get chased by Latino gangbangers. In a wheelchair. Get, One guy is in a leader. He's like, give me that wand. I want to be able to walk. I want to be able to. <laughs> yeah, that's like one thing. So he can walk. Yeah, again. he wants to. He was able to fuck again because his dick went limp. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> he literally says Man, that. Man, yeah, so He wants to bang his old lady. I love it. Is that really, yeah. is that a really says a line that. in this movie? Yes. Yeah. God damn yeah. it, Max Landis. <laughs> <laughs> so, so essentially you have Will Smith, Orc, and they find an elvish girl who is part of the, what are they called again? Tika. She was an Inferno. No, no, no. The Inferno. Inferno. Am I the only person who paid attention to this fucking script? She traded. <laughs> she like, she like defected. From Inferni, right? Okay. And she knows what they're going to do, and she doesn't want to do that anymore. She's like, no, I don't want to do that. He has a change of heart. So then, then she has the wand that she stole it from the person that's trying to kill her. They find her, they, and then so the crop cops come, and then you, they, they all go on this adventure. So we are going. To, no, wait, wait, wait. So one of the best scenes. So like I told, I was trying to say earlier, one of the good things about this movie, and this really nails it. The the, the soundtrack. Oh yeah. The music they play. Um, there's a good. There's a good track by Bastille. There's a couple good tracks, like some good, like, you know, hip hop tracks yeah. that are in this movie. It fits really well. It's good. It's good music. It's like, it gets you kind of into it a little bit. Right. There's an amazing scene in this film where the corrupt cops have sent Will Smith outside after agreeing that they're going to keep the wand for themselves and make their dicks bigger or whatever the fuck they right. wanted. Whatever you want to do. And they're like, just go out, sit the outside. You get rid of the orc. Either we're burying one cop or we're burying two cops tonight. They basically give Will a, an ultimatum. Right. So he goes outside and he like confronts his partner. He's like, did you fucking let that guy shoot me and then get away? And then he explains to him that he caught somebody in the alleyway, but it wasn't the orc who shot him. It was like a kid. It was some random kid who was like just spray painting the wall, another orc kid. And he's like, it wasn't the same orc. I could smell him. He's like, orcs have a really heightened sense of smell. He smells this kid. He's like, it's not the guy who shot you. But the cops coming they weren't going to give a shit. Right. They were going to, like, arrest this kid, beat him down. <coughs> and you actually him. see, yeah. like, cops beating it's orcs like, in the street. It's like L.A. cops when they, you know, they pull the black guys out of their cars and that, that With, scene. So, the whole so, Rodney, so King. Rodney King. Right, yeah. yeah. It's just, it's, Everywhere it's, it's is like, Rodney that's King. That's happening all Everywhere. over. Oh, Open man. Uh, yeah. Because the cops And the cops are, like, high-fiving each other and doing, like, fucking dances and shit while they do it. <laughs> they don't Taking give selfies. a shit. The cops Jesus are, like, on, like, roids in this movie. It's creepy. Police brutality is an art form in this world. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the the orc tells him, you know, it's like it wasn't the same guy. The other guy, he got away. He legitimately got away. I couldn't find him. And Will Smith's like says nothing. And the cops come out of the safe house and they're like, so? And then this Bastille track comes in and it's a, uh, hold on a second. It is called, I'm sorry, I, really, I, I like this song so much I fucking downloaded it. It's a good song. Uh, I mean, I like, it was I like good, Bastille. I do. It's called World Gone Mad. Um, so it is, everything goes into slow mo. Will Smith turns around, draws his pistol, and then like this it goes light, dead shot. This this <laughs> said this sad little Bastille song starts playing about how sad the world is now. <laughs> everyone's gone crazy as Will Smith guns down four them police down. Oh, four man. cops, just fucks them up. He quick draws on all four yeah. of them, and it's a really well shot scene. So Max Landis, who wrote this script, he can go fuck himself. The cinematographer of this <laughs> yeah. film, right? He did a great job. Has yeah. it just, does everything just slow down Max Payne style? Oh, that's yeah, awesome. yeah, super yeah. slow mo. It's, it's like you just see him pull out his gun, and he's like, pa 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 pa. It's nice. like goes across he, everybody. He asked that his partner, cool, yeah. he was like, "Hey, they just walked out. He said, in, which from which, right to left, what order are they standing in?" And the bra was he asked off. him like, "Who are they?" <laughs> yeah. yeah, and he's just like, so he knows exactly that's where to cool, aim. Yeah. yeah. Well, that and he knows like who's a better shot, probably, or you know who he needs right. to drop first, or something like that. And that's when they start going on the run. They're like, we got to get the wand out of here. Everyone and their sisters after the wand. And the rest of the movie just becomes alienation. Right. Yep. And then, um, so you, you, I, I think one of the best things is you get all the gang, the orc gangs. Like 
every little orc gang has their own little premise. They all have like tribes. Again, right. we talked about this earlier. You have to get Bog bl- teeth. Yeah, you get blooded. Like you have to like earn your right until you can, like kind of like before you have to kill somebody to get into the gang kind of thing. Uh, we, and then we meet like we meet like the head gang guy. I don't know what his name was, but <laughs> the tribe leader. <laughs> yeah, like he. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah, nobody yeah. cares. His orc name. Number seven. I he remember was, he moved there from Miami. Yeah, he told a story about how I, I don't need this shit. I came from Miami. I was having a good time, and I came here and I made. I saw all the corrupt shit. And I made order, so he started all the gangs. Well, that's when we find out the kid that we just talked about was his son. That orc it kid all, who was spray painting. It all came tied right together. together. Right. Well, sort of, because, spoiler alert, Orc dies. The Orc father? The, orc no, father no, 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 no. The orc cop. Joel, no, the orc cop. What's his name? Really? Yeah, he dies. His no. name is Nick Jacoby. Yeah, Nick Jacoby. That's the... Jacoby. <laughs> Jacoby. Jacoby. That's he the dies. orc's name. Okay. He gets shot through the chest he gets with a rifle. Ooh. Point blank range. Pow. His, the son was supposed to do it, but the son then says, I know him. I can't do this. He saved me. Dad says, so Dad says go then, home. I'll take care of it. So then Miami did it. Yeah. Miami after after yeah. partying on the beach, the break of dawn. But magic wand. <laughs> they literally <laughs> resurrected in seconds. The MacGuffin, the MacGuffin Jeez. of the movie, the, 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 the Dusex Machina of the film. <laughs> yeah. So magic wand, he comes back. But you tell, you can tell whatever <clears throat> magic she used to do this wasn't good because <laughs> she starts like dying. Apparently, there's a price for bringing <clears throat> people back from the dead. I don't give a, a fuck. Life for a, life. Really a, a, life, a yeah. life for a life. Yeah. So and yeah. there was no talking. Like, oh, not this character. I love this character. No. Like there was no shits given. Like it was like she oh. could have died, and I couldn't have given any right. any fu- less fucks. <laughs> so you, she, you see her. She's like turning black. Like kind of like I don't know. Her veins are turning yeah, black. It looked like it, a poison. Yeah. Okay. Her. Right. Like a poison ivy touched you. I don't know. <laughs> Insert cliche here. You've seen it. <clears throat> right. So then, then the adventure becomes we have to save this girl. <laughs> because we said we would protect her. Uh, can, can I just say that, like, you were describing this movie for like three and a half minutes and I got the plot twist. Oh, yeah. Of, you already knew it. You nailed like, it. Like, but everybody can see it. And that's it. what I was going to say. Right. I said before we started recording, I was like, hey, let's do something with Tim. I was going to say only Brights could handle the wand. And they explicitly say, oh, they're like, oh, it's elves, elves are mostly brights. And they're like, oh, well, humans could do it too. And they were like, yeah, but only one in a million. Who's, Who's the bright? The bright? <laughs> Will Smith. <laughs> Will Smith. Um, but you, you, didn't, you didn't even need that explanation. No, you already got mid, it. Mid-40s Harry Potter over here. Right. Right. Or, or, yeah. It was just... Oh, God. Yeah, so... Uh, but like, again, I, the reason I do appreciate the movie is because they don't try to make it more than that. They, right. they don't present it as like this... The ovation. Sweet, the sweeping it's just, epic. Yeah, that, like, it's literally like, here you are, here it goes, have fun. I'm sorry. Please help me. And please correct me if I'm wrong in my interview. You're telling me that you appreciate this movie because it's lazy. Yes. The fuck? Well, it's like one of those movies that I don't have to get super involved in. I can sit down and watch it, and it'll play, and I'll, at the end of the I'll be like, oh, okay. Oh, I'm pretty sure I zoned out for like 20 minutes yeah. and missed nothing. Right. <laughs> Those movies can still be enjoyable. Gentlemen, Are they great? That no. is the very definition of a bad movie. <laughs> no, because be, some bad movies are so bad, they're good. Name, no, name one. Sharknado. Oh, wait, we did a whole episode. Sharknado. Sharknado. I, was like, I was like, like, wait, wait. Sharknado 5. Look, all I'm saying is, is that this movie had a really good premise. Mm-hmm. Stolen plot line, but good premise. Yeah, I like and the idea. And then they decided yeah. not to fucking build on it. Right. Like, I, I like the idea of the world. Yeah. A lot. If this was a series and they did it in about six episodes, I think it yeah. would have been better. Because they were like, we got to start, stop the Dark Lord. I don't know who he is. Right. I don't, I feel zero, like, there was right. no and tension. It, yeah, there was like, no, no, like, oh my God, they got to stop this guy. Right. And I, I guarantee know. you they're going to get a high-end actor to play him in the sequel. I'm sure. And that, we, we I have this the, conversation, I guess the right? Is this Dark Lord has the power to control the hearts and minds of all living orcs? Plus, he's like magic, one hundred percent magic. Oh, I mean, right? But like, but like you were saying, is that like oh. bad dog? Oh. It, it, it sounds like, it sounds like to me that he's possibly set up to be in the sequel as the villain. He'll but be the villain no, in the really, sequel. There's really no setup. For he's going right. to control the orcs. Right. All the orcs are going to turn, but Jacoby. We'll be All able right. to fight it, and he'll become the the orc hero <laughs> because he <laughs> fucking wrote it. There you go. You yeah, don't have because to see he it now. because right. he died. And, <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, improv. I, like I like the I like the idea of it, but it just sounds like it's no, not Tim, executed right. Tim, this like Andy said, this movie is good if you don't give a shit. Right. 
if you're watching this from a standpoint of like you give a shit about whether or not you're wasting your time, mm -hmm. you're going to be a pretty upset. The, however, like I said, there are some... Okay, if you take out the plot and the contrived story and the derivative nonsense, it looks good, it, it feels good, and it sounds good. Yeah. Then, Everything else is shit. Yeah, I guess, I guess, like, let me rephrase it. We're like, I like the premise. It's directed by David Ayers, who did Suicide, Suicide Squad. Squad, yeah. What it is he, a suicide... Like, he the did, look of it, the tonal yeah. feel, like... And I, and I like David Ayers. Even the color, like, the saturation, are, it, it's right. just... Cause what did he he did he did a movie before Suicide Squad that I really really was it liked. Tank the one with the what was that called the Fury Fury, Fury. did he do yes. Fury oh, that's good. Fury's great yeah I love that movie look man all I'm saying is is that I I get it David Ayers has done some good shit he's a good director mm -hmm. but he needs to stop getting in bed with shitty fucking script writers yeah. And Netflix probably should have, like, fleshed this out a little bit more. Were they just, like, trying to, like, give you just the tip and then decide after they got just the tip if whether or not they were going to, like, maybe give you a sequel that actually had some substance to it? I think that's lazy. That's lazy right, cause as it fuck. Sounds like, because it sounds like... Oh, like Destiny. <laughs> well, it, it does, I mean, it sounds like it ends with, with Will Smith realizing he is the... Well, the bright. Yeah, they get caught in a fight, and he picks up the wand in the middle of a fight. And so, when they're like, "Don't do it, you'll blow up." He's like, "I'm so, either going to so, die if I don't touch it, right. or I'm, I'm going to die, die by either way." So, right, yeah, right. we find out at the end, like, so the the one elf bitch finds them, hunts them down, and um, is trying to get the wand from them, um, <clears throat> while they're trying to save the other one. Find out it's her sister somehow, um, and then all elves look alike. To me. Yeah, and they look uh -oh. the same, uh -oh. <laughs> um, and. So she pretty much puts Jacoby in a noose. He's getting hung. She's on top of the elf, and Will Smith is, like, right there. And finally, Jacoby finds a way out of it, shoots the elf, she drops the wand, so he's like, oh, shit, I gotta pick it up. And you're like, oh, guess what? He's not gonna blow up. He doesn't blow up. <laughs> and, then, like, and then Tika has Tells to tell him, him like, he's, he's like, what, how do I do this? He's like, the, the, the spell for blowing the bitch up is... Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, she says, this and is the like, command. And he's like, don't, a cadaver. Don't, yeah. yeah. Don't, <laughs> Abracadabra. Don't pick no. up... <laughs> no, Andy. Avada Kedavra. Don't Abracadabra. <laughs> Crucio, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Don't 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 pick up that wand, Star Lord. You'll die. Essentially, <laughs> yes. Don't touch that infinity stone. Well, essentially, yes. Christ. And so, so he blows her away, and she, she goes poof. So, what is the Rotten Tomatoes score for this movie? 30, 36? Thirty six. I thought it wasn't even thirty. Oh, just thirty. Okay. 30. So, what's and the, the fan rating? Eighty nine. Like Eighty nine percent. Jesus. Holy shit. So Again, I don't actually agree with Rotten Tomatoes that on is this a point. Huge, that, I yeah, don't that agree. Is a huge I don't agree with thirty percent. Okay, I, I don't at all. Um, I think that for what it is, it could be fun, right? right? For a fantasy movie, just to watch it, not really worry about everything. If you don't, if you don't want to worry about, there, is there more? Is there going to be less? Just watching it, having fun with it, I'm fine with it. I'm around a six there wasn't other than on my house. I mean, that's kind of your standard action movie, right, really. Exactly. Yeah. Mine's a six to a seven, depending. Yeah. On. It's one of those movies you can sit down and watch, and at the end you're like, eh, all right. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I'll give it a five. You give it a five? That's still better than 30. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's, so. That's still, yeah, that's uh, still 50%. I, I, yeah. Like I said, my biggest gripe is that it's derivative and it's unoriginal. Right. What I do like is how it's shot. Mm -hmm. I like the, the soundtrack. And I, I like the, the some of the dialogue is pretty good. Right. Like Will Smith, he's like because he's the, the the orc is in the car and he's like humans have facial tells. You guys like do these things. And you can tell how you're feeling. And he's like oh yeah. And he's like, they do a couple of jokes. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Hey, do that do that one face that that orc does when he shuts the fuck up. <laughs> he's like, yeah. he just drives us to work. To shut he goes there. You go. You got it. You nailed That's it. it. That's, That's it. That's, That's the one. Good. Yeah. So oh, like, and they some, drop f bombs oh, like it's, every other word. It's awesome. Their That's banter's right. pretty good. Like the, the the dialogue is good. Like I said, the, there are this. All the meat and potatoes are here, but whoever was in the kitchen decided not to like make it go in the right direction. Right. They missed because like, that's, like, that's one of my favorite things with Will Smith is acting is his banter. Oh yeah, he's like with Martin Lawrence with Tommy Lee Jones. This is very with, much like bad boys banter. Yeah, I like Joel Edgerton. He's been in some good shit. Uh, I like I, at first I could not tell it was him, but no. yeah. after a while, all I could see was Joel Edgerton. Joel Edgerton. <laughs> his costume. Yeah, he's very he's very hit or miss with me. And the, and the makeup was amazing because it even had his nostril flaring, like his like fake nose. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah. The, nice. flared. Like, it was pig noses. Yeah, it was pretty sweet. That's the racial slur for works. What what was it? Pig noses. Pig noses. I thought you said dick noses. <laughs> <laughs> he calls them, you pig nose motherfuckers. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Yep. 
Huh. And it doesn't sound that bad normally, but when you hear it as like a racial slur, it just sounds a hundred times worse. Yeah, you're just like, ooh. Yeah. That's way about worse. that. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I, got me, I love Netflix. I think Netflix does some good shit. I feel like this was like... <sighs> This was a money grab. Well, I, I think it was a test. test. I think I really think it was a test. Well, yeah, this was a, think, this was a beta. Like, they're very like <laughs> yeah because they're very good with series, but they haven't really ventured you know, ventured a whole lot into movies. Right. Very very much. I don't think. I, I think Andy really like hit the nail on the head. This would have succeeded as a series. As a series. And yeah. yeah, we had that conversation on our Instagram today. You guys were talking back and forth with uh, one another podcast that we listened to. Those movie guys. Yeah, those movie guys. Those movie guys. Yeah, and they really mentioned that. They're like, hey. This would be awesome. Just put it in a series. And they were like, oh, yeah, put it in a series, blah, blah, blah. Well, I can see it. Oh, I mean, I, I read that Netflix is thinking about or has ordered a sequel and a series. So maybe the series right. delves more into the Dark Lord kind of stuff. And like, God damn it. Pick one. Either do <laughs> yeah, a sequel <laughs> movie or do a series. But don't do both, you greedy ass Corrupt well, motherfuckers. You elves. I can't do you that. Elves. Elves. You goddamn elves. Well, what if, what you what fucking if, elves. <laughs> what if the, like, this, the, the series... Let's say it's like six or seven episodes. Then maybe that does the story and sets up the Dark Lord, and then they do the Dark Lord in the sequel. I've seen that movie. It was called Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I just watched I, the two I towers watched it again. It's still I, 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 dude, I already made the reference of Will Smith being Frodo. Like, <laughs> right. I'm saying, this ago, is literally so. like twenty, like 2017 of Middle Earth. Like, this is like right. the fifth age right. of Middle Earth where we shit got caught <laughs> <Right. laughs> in cities and stuff. I want to know how they got that scene in Elf World, Elf Land, whatever you want to call it. Where they had like literally all the cars were like Maseratis, Lamborghinis, yeah, Tim, there's Ferraris. like 15 Corvettes and Maseratis <laughs> yeah. and expensive ass European trucks. And they have the orcs as chauffeurs. Because <laughs> of course they do. Yeah. Even and the elves, orcs hated the fucking Jacoby. So they yeah. point at their own tusks. Yeah. Like, One of the elves' favorite things is just to spend money. So it just shows them shopping. So the elves are the 1%? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. 100%. One percenters. And they don't like to get anything dirty, and they're just... Fact. One of the FBI agents oh, is an elf. we figured out that there actually is a department of the FBI <laughs> called For the magic. Magical Stuff, the Magic Task Force or something. Yeah, Magical Task Force. <laughs> the Magic <laughs> Task Force. That's probably Force. it. <laughs> Dude, this I movie's mean, fucking Alien Nation. I'm sorry, yeah. now I really want to watch Alien Nation. I'm going to get on my PlayStation in a minute here. I'm going to buy Alien Nation. Maybe that was their premise all along. Maybe they bought the rights Maybe. to Alien Nation. They're like, let's see what we can do. <laughs> Uh, I mean, there's no James Caan. I mean, if you had made James Caan the work instead of Joel Edgerton, this would have been a crazy <laughs> movie. It's James Caan. James Caan alive. alive. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Just like is James Caan. I have no idea. Dead. I'm gonna go with dead. Uh, uh, no, you know, sure I'm gonna is. go with Sonny Corleone being being alive. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Sonny Corleone. You think so? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. I'm gonna leave hold. the gun. Take the cannolis. <laughs> <laughs> he's either dead or his career is. It's well, he's, he's yes. got to be in his. He's got to be pushing eighty by now. Yeah, James Conn is very old and very angry and very white. <laughs> At this point in time, I don't think he's probably like somewhere with Mel Gibson planning a rally of That's some kind. Of James Conn is alive at the ripe old age of seventy-seven. Oh, mm. yeah. all right. Sorry, James Conn. We thought you were dead. Dead. James Conn. We pulled a, we made, pulled a like, weight James on you. Is Sonny Corleone <laughs> in real life? <laughs> Rest in peace. He's not dead. Uh, Again, not dead. He's living in Tampa. He's just fine. <laughs> His career's dead, and would, that's all that would matters. You, would you like to know the last movie that James Conn did in 2017? Was it Conn? God, yes. Are you shitting me? Undercover Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, how was it? Well, we can't, we can't laugh too much because I haven't even what's heard his of face? It. De Niro, didn't De Niro just do something like Dirty Grandpa? Dirty Grandpa, yeah. Bad uh, Grandpa Dirty is Grandpa the, uh, was good. I haven't seen Dirty Grandpa. Bad it Grandpa. was funny. Bad Grandpa is the um, Johnny, Johnny Knoxville. Johnny Knoxville one. Oh, one. that's right. When he dresses that one's up hilarious too. That one has some very like, it is uncomfortable what they do. Well, Man, yeah. how far did Johnny Knoxville fall? Dude, you uh, think he mean fell after, hard? Mean Look at fucking Bam Margera and the rest and of those Steve assholes. Steve-O, yeah. yeah. Uh, Bam Margera is fat now. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah dude. Just, when you make a career by letting crocodiles I bite just, your testicles, you're done. I just saw yeah. him in September. He's not... <laughs> He's not good. Not good. <laughs> not good, Bob. Not good. Not good, Bob. Not good, Bob. Man, all right. Well, I mean, I would still recommend watching this movie, honestly. Yeah, uh, I recommend having a lot of alcohol and, or some other to see every in your single thing that you know and predicted, and everyone else saw it before. Right. So you right. knowing it and watching it is not going to change. It's not gonna no, change I, mean, it I mean, I mean, I got I got the the plot twist in the last like ten it's not, minutes it's not of the even movie. A twist. Yeah. It's just like a well, that's going to happen. Yeah, 
Yeah, it wasn't a twist. I mean, it was to just, them, it's a plot You were twist, just though. waiting yeah. for it. You're like, all right, grab <laughs> it. To Max Landis, it's like, it's Grab your twist. wand, Will Smith. <laughs> grab yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, so I mean... Oh, God. And, and for us nerds, geeks, whatever you want to call us, we appreciate this genre. So right. it's like if you like if you love action movies, you're gonna watch bad action movies because it's still a fucking action movie. Yeah, it's like pizza, even bad pizza, still pizza. <laughs> I don't know. Like, see, like it. I don't know. Maybe it's because I just don't like Max Landis that I just want to rag on this movie. So that's why being picky. I don't <laughs> recommend seeing this movie sober. Sober. Yeah. Right. I also I was don't not recommend sober. seeing I was not this sober movie. Either. <laughs> Period. <laughs> If you have seen Alien Nation, if you don't, if you aren't a big Will Smith fan, you can probably skip this film. If you want a quick laugh and you've been token the reefer, then you go for it. This movie's all right up your <laughs> well, head. Well, it's not, it's not that long either. It's not like a super no, long short. movie. Right. Like I said, the soundtrack's good. Some of the dialogue is funny, but this shit's derivative and contrived. <laughs> I think we've made Phil angry with this one. They got Lilo in there. I, just, I mean, Tika. We're, we're sitting here doing a whole episode about Bright. I can't shit for 45 minutes. I, I don't have a turd minutes. that big. I Man. just, I don't. It's only like 15 Keurigs. I can't get much higher than that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a South Park reference to Charlotte. <laughs> I think that if this is like the where, I, I, okay, this proves to me one thing that I am happy about. Netflix has potential for original content in the film department where at least the production values top notch. Yeah. The production values top notch. Absolutely. There is nothing but, bad in, the, the looking, there's nothing bad looking in this movie. Yeah. I, I mean, get well, that Netflix also is a streaming service and maybe Max Landis was the best that they could afford yeah. to write bright. Well, I mean, I mean, if you're going to put $40 million into the crown, let's see what you can put into a movie like bright. See, yeah. So I'm saying save up your Stranger Things money. <laughs> right. Netflix, just put it in your piggy <laughs> right. bank. And maybe do a better movie. Well, it's like, isn't like what, your Twin Peaks plot, and your Stranger right. Things money? Isn't that theirs too? Twin Peaks is Showtime. Oh, okay. They have the they have the rights to the original Twin Peaks, but tw the new Twin Peaks was Showtime. Okay. Yeah, Will Smith. I, I, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm. It made me really excited to rewatch Alien Nation. I want to go watch Independence Day again. I'm gonna go watch Bad Boys <laughs> One and Welcome Two. To Earth. Welcome to Earth. I'm gonna go watch Bad Boys One and Two. You on the mic with Mike? <laughs> you on the mic. <laughs> First Men in Black. Yeah. I love Men in Black. Yeah, Tommy Lee Jones. True. Skip two. I haven't Step seen back, three. Drop the gun and get me a pack of tropical fruit bubblicious. <laughs> Skittles. <laughs> Skittles. <laughs> Fuck, man. Uh, well, yeah, so that was a nice little quick review. But I think next week we're going to be uh, trying to convince Andy to watch some anime. Absolutely. This guy has hated on anime for like... Since I've known him, you're like you're like giving your uncomfortable poop face, like you know, no, you have, he does. He kind of looks like he's taking a really hard you have, shit. Yeah, you yeah, have, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You haven't uncomfortable seen uncomfortable poop Andy's poop face. Like, he can't even sit down after. You've seen it? Yes. Uh, I. You know what? I don't want to know the story. <laughs> <laughs> Andy has shit himself in my house. Like, I, Jesus what? Christ! What? Like, like what? Like, like on the sofa? Yeah, right now. D dude, Andy, you're gonna stand for that? Should throw it to you. Bring it to Was it just like? Oh my god. Was it just a questionable uh, fart? I give, I give this movie three poo flings. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yes. That is our new rating so, yeah. system. How has been born. <laughs> so yeah, Bright's on Netflix. Check it out if you're fucking in the mood, I guess. But drink otherwise, like, uh, drink like three beers, you know. Hit, six. Hit, hit, your, hit your favorable <laughs> drug and back. then <laughs> put it in. Or, this is not sex. But, uh, <laughs> Yeah, but uh, <laughs> next week we'll uh, we'll have something uh, a little bit longer for you. But for now, thanks for tuning in for our uh, our review of Bright uh, and the Hateful Geeks. I'm Phil. This is Sweeney. I'm Andy. And this is Tim. And Will Smith still. Get Aww. your magic wands out. <laughs>